So my worst gig ever was in Palm Beach at this sort of Palm Beach kind of imitation Mardi Gras street festival that they had every year. And I got hired by this festival promoter to put together a, and I quote, street style New Orleans brass band. So I was stoked about it and I'm like, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Like, I'll call my brass player friends and we'll get together, we'll put together some cool stuff. We're gonna be on the side of the street and we're just gonna kind of be sort of, you know, faux busking. Disclaimer, at this time I had never actually been to New Orleans yet. So my knowledge of what a New Orleans brass band was, was pretty limited. So I went online, of course. When I put in brass band, the first thing that kind of came up was like, but Dixieland. So I'm like, all right, sounds legit. I called my friends up. I called a tuba player, a trombone player, and a trumpet player, and we ordered a bunch of Dixieland music, and we had a few rehearsals. We practiced it. I was playing drum set, by the way. And not like a like a big drum set, but like a small little 16-inch tom that converted to a bass drum and a small snare, just like a hi-hat. So come the day of the gig, it is packed. It's lit, right? The whole street is just corner to corner people. Um, you're walking down, there's artists on the side of the road, and, and I'm going by, I'm like, man, I wonder if we're gonna be, you know, if that's our spot, or we're gonna be in front of that bar, we're gonna be over here. But we get to the main part of the festival, which is like the main stage, where like the big acts are on. You know, I got my little dolly with a little drum set, like three-piece drum set in tow. On stage is like, I don't know who it was, but it was like Sly and the Family Stone, plus Earth, Wind & Fire, plus Chicago. I mean, it was like the, it was huge and it was, it was funky and it was hitting. People were up, you know, people were super lit and um, I find the promoter and I say, all right, man, hey, we're excited. He's like, man, Drew, we're excited to have you. And I'm like, all right, so where are we setting up? You know, like I saw some really cool spots back there. I didn't know if like the artists are moving or they're there the whole time, like what the deal is, you know, where, where would you like us to go? What street corner side would you like us to be? So he's like... Oh, uh, no, you're on stage, man. You're on stage right after these guys. <laughs> uh, so I'm like, I, I, no, I say, no, man, you, you must have it mistaken. You, you told me like a, a street side, like New Orleans brass band. He's like, yeah, you know, like New Orleans brass band, you know, big sound, heavy. And I'm like, right, but you said, you know, you said it's like a street corner street band. I'm like, so we're, we're probably going to be setting up like we're ready to set up here. He's like, nah, man, you guys are next. And mind you, like, it's like, it's nine o'clock. It's like, the, it's like these guys were like in the opening slot. Now it's like nine o'clock and the place is getting even like more packed. People are coming in. It's getting crazy. And I'm freaking out. So this band finishes with like We Are The World or something, everyone's singing along. I don't know what they were playing. I didn't hear anything else after that. You know, people are crying, they're throwing things, it's great. They're just like, it's, it's going insane. Side note, it was freezing out that night. Florida freezing, which is like 55 degrees. And it's super windy. So we're backstage and we're, we're getting ready to go on. And it's like a 50 foot stage, right? It's just giant. I mean, there was like three horn players, three background vocalists. I think Aretha Franklin was like lead singing or something. You know, the guy's like, do you need a drum riser? And I'm like, uh, I don't think I'll need a drum riser for this one. <laughs> so I bring up my, my little 16 inch bass drum. I plop it down. I already have my snare on the stand, but you know, put it right there. Bring my hi-hat, put it down. You know, we have the tuba player here. And mind you, this was, this was like a, a big concert tuba. He's sitting on a stool. You know, it wasn't like hip tuba, like the stuff like Bill, who I play with now, but you know, just like classical tuba guy. And then we had trombone player and then they, we all had music stands, you know, and um, we get up there and they're like, all right, now we have Drew Tucker and this New Orleans street band or whatever they called it. And we, we start playing, you know, everyone's there, it's packed. And uh, our first song, you know that song, you know that? You know that song from the Harlem Globetrotters? <laughs> then right then the biggest gust of wind comes in and all of the music just blows everywhere. I mean everywhere. And now you got the tuba player chasing down music. You got the trombone player going backwards trying to keep playing while he's trying to find his music on the ground. It's freezing out. And I'm just doing chick boom, chick boom, chick boom, chick boom, chick boom, chick boom. And I, 
It was only a 30 minute set, man. This set must have lasted in my in my head and in my heart like six hours. And so I'm watching all the people, which is like packed, just sort of do this. And the only people that were left were my cousin and two of my friends, all kind of huddled together, freezing. And I, hey, I'd never been to New Orleans at the time. But I'll tell you this, if I had to put together a New Orleans brass band right now, that joint would be fire.